Hey ins guys, welcome back to another episode of Valorventures. And I forgot to mention this episode is guaranteed fresh. That's right, no more of that old stuff. So wow, boy, we got a lot to catch up on, and I'm probably not gonna get to it all this episode. Which is fine, because that just gives me more reason to come back and talk to you guys, right? Right. So, let's get started, and let's see what uh, we can get into here real quick. Some quick updates. Uh, this is new. There's Some of this is new. That over there is new, and that over there is new, so let's take a buzz on up here and see. Up in this one, we have my Niederwort farm. I do not need all that. I really don't, but still. Oh, and there's the other cool thing, and I, I'm going to be real quick about it. Uh, I, I, I managed to get my uh, computer even figure out how to make it even beefier, and usually it can't run this texture pack, which is... Um, Chroma Hills RPG, which I absolutely love because it's like one of my all-time favorite texture packs. But thanks to some help, I'm pretty well tweaked, and I can run this with no problem, no lag whatsoever. I love the neither wart. Look at that. It looks like little pulsing pimples. That's gross. <laughs> but I like it. So, uh, let's see. We'll buzz on over here. <coughs> Pardon the mess all over the floor. My shulker boxes. <sighs> And on either side, we have my crops. Thought that was a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, let's see. Last time you saw the cobble generator was there. I moved it over to here. And back here, I put a cobble stern. Oh, did I say cobble generator? My charcoal factory for crying out loud. I got this on the brain. I put a char uh, char now I'm going to say I put a charcoal generator here. Jeez, Rocker, you're doing a wonderful job today, aren't we? But yeah, I put in a cobble generator, and some of you are going to ask why. Well, I'm part of this movement of like keep valor intact, and if I want cobblestone, uh, I'll make it. I know how to make it. I've played in Skyblock enough. And I made one of these neat little callbacks. This actually isn't a cobble generator. It's a stone generator. And I have it rigged up with the hopper and some redstone. And I well, I can't even get into the wall to show you. But I used uh, what's called a glass item elevator instead of a whole... There's a little bit of redstone involved, but not a lot. But, uh, you know, look up, look up um, glass item elevator. You'll see. So basically, I turn it on if this thing doesn't break on me. And I just sit here and crank out uh, cobble. And it drops into the hopper and goes into storage. And I can make all I want. See, you hear a little click. It's now in the hopper. And I have cobble or stone, depending on which pick I use. There it comes. So yeah, there's that. Now, the reason why I moved that... I, and I'm sorry, I have... I'm like going on full bore charcoal production here. I keep running low and I said to myself we don't need to be running low so I'm working on my yeah almost ready to start on my fourth fifth double chest of that stuff. Now let me check my enderma chest. There it is. I need one of those. Thank you very much. I moved the charcoal factory because I decided to have a little fun and do something crazy goofy Everybody, ready? no, wait a minute. Why I should I show you this? Because it'd be giving away like my secret, right? What's the point of having a secret if you tell everybody? Yeah, I'm going to show you anyway. Ta -da! Ta -da -da -da. Oh, get stuck in the wall. Let's do this again. You got to move fast. Okay, here we go. Do, do, do. Here we go into the torch key door, which leads down to whoa, look out, funkiness to the extreme. Yeah, I went a little crazy down here, didn't I? I got one of those weird moods. I love, but I love the end rods. I love end rods, and they make like cool overhead lighting, don't they? 
And I thought, you know, and I put a chicken farm down here. Why did I put a chicken farm down here? Because I can't stand their clucking all the time, but it ends up I still hear it. Oh, I got eggs. Cool. I can make more pumpkin pies. Wonderfulness. Now, this cute little uh, production system is courtesy of NIMS TV again. But see, as you can see, you can set it to either give you eggs or feed me chicken. And you can turn it on. And you can even turn the production off. Now, if I switch it to feed me chicken, what will happen is instead of popping eggs down in here, it'll hatch the chickens for me. And then, oh, no, oh, I just heard one. It would hatch the chickens for me. And then when they grow up, unfortunately, no, we don't want to talk about that. But anyway, I, I got chicken. I want, really wanted eggs. I wanted them for eggs because I make pumpkin pies and then I sell them on the market because pumpkin pies actually sustain you better than beef does. Imagine that. Go fast. Yes, we will. So there we go. We added all this wonderfulness up here. Holy mackerel. Boy, things have really changed. I love it. Uh, let's see. We just I just finished this the other day. Uh, I decided... Uh, let's see. Where are we going to go? I'm going to go a little rocker confused here. What the... Dude. Okay. Um... Yeah, I decided, I, I kept looking out here and thinking, boy, this really needs a bridge over there to where, I don't know, but, uh, you know, I decided to throw in a bridge so I can just go across here and the gates, excuse me, are to keep the mobs out, of course, that's why I had to put the iron fence up. Now the, I'll just, yeah, there we go. Now the uh, little thingies there, if you like that cute little trick. Hey, how do you get an armor stand in there? Well, that's one of the neat little things about pistons. It's a little bit of a pain, but it's worth it for decoration's sake. You know, you, you put your armor... Well, first of all, you have to put the trap door down. Then you drop the armor stand in. Then you place a stair above it. And then you put a piston above that. Activate the piston. Pew, drops it right down on top of the armor stand. And there you go. You have a really neat little uh, lamp. And don't forget to set your neither rack inside on fire. So there we go. Uh, let's see. Oh my gosh. The the medieval village. Boy, that was... Ooh, boy, did this really come a long, 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 long way. Hello, moon. This has come a long way. Um, you know worked on a lot of things here i can't remember what i showed you and i'm not going to go back through the video but there's our forge uh, i've been trying to learn how to do interior decorating so i figured i would turn this if there was a forge he could sell stuff here and he could live here while he was there whoever this is and uh, i even I'm, I'm learning decorating now and i'm kind of getting into it i think this is kind of cool I mean, there's like a hundred different things you can do. And then a neat little like shelf, right? You know, with a fence gate. Well, that should be like that. Who? Somebody come in here and blade with my fence gates. People like to do that. Oh, nice painting. I love Chroma Hills RPG texture pack. And we got a little closet. Even with little shelves that don't really work. But hey, you know, what are you going to do? It, it, it just, you know, the way things end. It's kind of the same thing over here. Just kind of different order. Didn't want to be the same. And why I put the kitchen up here, I have no idea, but I did it anyway. And there's my favorite painting. It does not look very good in this texture pack, but Craving Diamond says it reminds her of heart bacon, which actually <laughs> it kind of does. And the big debate is whether that is a boy or a girl, and I'm never too sure. You know, I, I don't, I wanted to put neither rack in here and make a fire, but mm, didn't think it was gonna yeah it probably could have worked but i thought i'd try magma block why not uh, and if i recall correctly this is unfinished and somebody left the door open yeah sure leave it open so mobs can get in really smart really smart i haven't figured out what to do up here if anybody has any ideas let me know in the comments because you know basically down there i had like the, the did i put bed yeah i put beds down there unless those are like for younger people to live in and these adult type people can live up here but that is their decision 
but yeah, you know, if you can think of something to put up there, I'm open for suggestions, and I would be more than glad to give mention to the player who gives me the best suggestion as to what put in there. Cool. Okay, let us move on. Because I'm trying to keep this to 15 minutes, which means I will have to show you a lot or just save it. This is the bakery. This is not my design. If anybody recognizes this design as being one of Jericraft's, you would be absolutely right. I happened to just recently start getting into Jericraft as far as build uh, inspiration goes, and uh, let me tell you, I love it. I love his stuff. I love his style. Hello, chickens. And I figured, you know what? I'm going to build a couple, like, you know, of his things and give me some ideas. So I don't think there is, yeah, so I kind of, you know, tr got started on the decorating part. This is one of those things I kind of ventured away from, but I would like to finish it. Boy, do I love the decorations in Chroma Hills. This just makes it so nice. It's so much fun. And again, one of our little closets. And I put trap doors here to smack my head off of when I walk up the steps. And I do not have anything up here yet because, again, I just can't seem to decide what to put up here. I'm not sure. Again, I'm open to suggestions. I'm always open to suggestions from you guys. That's, you know, again, somebody who comes up with a good idea, I'll give you mentions. All right, let's leave the bakery because we are going to get short on time. And I don't want to fly through this all because I want you to enjoy it. But uh, let's see what else. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, my guardian statues. I did have craving diamonds and, um, oh, what? I can't pronounce her name. Uh, Shioris? Shioros? I don't know. I just call her Shia for short. X-I-A. I'll put her name on the screen, I'm sure. Let's see. We did the eyeball. We got that all done. Hello, kitty. There's a kitty. Unfortunately, the kitty doesn't render in his texture pack. Oh, well. Okay, I wish it was daytime. How much longer before daytime? Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I'll tell you what. I'm going to show you something that I think is really cool because now my computer can actually do it. So I will be right back with you. Now then, some people like shader packs. Some people don't. I, for one, happen to like them a lot, but I can't usually, I couldn't usually run them before because it would bog the computer down and it would be laggy. Now, ah, oh, look at that moon is cool. I love shader packs. I think they're really fun. I mean, you know, if I could record with it all the time, I probably would, but I don't know if everybody likes that. Now, this one happens to be Chacapic. And some people don't like the water. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not sure I like the water either. Um, but, you know, you take the goods with the bads. And speaking of goods, I need to stuff some good baked potatoes in my face because I've been talking so long and carrying on, I forgot to notice, nom, 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 notice that, uh, you yeah, know, I was getting pretty hungry. So, and there's something over there we'll just have to get to later. We'll have to get to a lot of stuff in here because I'm running short on time. Wow, the 15 minutes, I try to say I try to keep it to around 15 minutes because I don't want to bore everybody, but what is going on with the, whew, for some reason the resource pack and the shaders don't get along when it comes to the cauldrons, the kitty in the moonlight, which will soon be daylight if I keep messing around, but it's not going to be by the time I'm done. So, with that being said, which saves, oh, we'll get to that too, we'll talk about that too. So I'm going to stand here and bask in the glow and say thanks everybody for joining me. I had a lot of fun. I'm really excited about the way things are going with a, a computer and just lots of, oh, I have lots of other things to show you. And this is great because that means I get to keep coming back and hanging with all you people. I love hanging with you. So just remember, uh, you know, if you like this video, please give me a like because I like you guys. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. You can find me on Facebook and Twitter. And be good, be nice. Keep moving, keep mining, and I got my eye on you.